guys, so this week's reading vlog is going to be a very very strange one which I will get into in just a minute but first off I want to start off strong with my currently reading. So at the end of last week's vlog I did say I was starting Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for Ryan's read along and I did say that I wanted to be done with this by Wednesday. Today is Tuesday, I can confirm I am 100% not going to be done with this by Wednesday. So I'm only on page 57 of this and I don't have a whole lot of time to read tonight because I got a lot of stuff to do in preparation for the rest of the week. But I'm not really going to bore you with what this is about because you know, but what I am going to say is that I am already enjoying it a lot more than I did the Philosopher's Stone because you don't have the setup of like Harry discovering he's a wizard like he does in the Philosopher's Stone it like jumps right into it and by page 19 Harry's already on his way to the burrow so there's none of this like stuff with the Dursleys which is just boring and I don't care about so I'm enjoying this a lot more than the Philosopher's Stone already and I'm hoping that it stays that way because Chamber of Secrets is one of my least favorite Harry Potter movies and so I don't anticipate that this is going to be my favourite in the series. So aside from that, I am reading Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin for my read along and I am on page 122 of this. So not very far, but look at all them tabs. So this is the first ever thing that I've really hosted that's like a big thing that's got like a book club and live shows and everything attached to it. So I want to make sure that I know what's going on and this is also the first book that I have colour coded annotated. So normally I just annotate with like the tabs for my favourite quotes and things not to remember what's going on but with the last season of the show coming out as well I really want to like gain some solid theories because essentially the whole of game of thrones the tv show and the books is easter egg hunting because nobody knows how the story ends because the last book hasn't been released and so everybody's just got like all these wild and crazy theories and it's interesting to see how what i know from like being up to season is it season eight of the show that's was the last one or was it season seven wherever i'm up to like i'm up to date with the show it's interesting to see how things so early on allude to things that have been revealed like many years later in the show so I'm having fun keeping track of that with all these tabs and I like guys people say that this is so dense and I just don't feel like it is I'm having like a whale of a time reading it I'm so absorbed I'm so interested and you'd think that I would be less interested because I've seen the show like I know what's gonna happen but like I said it's just like easter egg hunting it's like a show but with a lot more depth and I'm absolutely loving it so my kind of plans it's like the 20 is it like the 22nd of January I still have like at least a week left of the month anyway so I want to finish this which I'm definitely going to finish before the end of the month however I don't know if I'm going to finish it this week because of how crazy this week has been or will be should I say and then I'm going to give all of my attention to this and I want to get halfway in this so that's another 300 pages but when I'm giving my full attention to this and this is my main book I don't see that being a problem. I am also going to put Chamber of Secrets on hold for this for the next couple of days because the reason that my week is going to be so crazy this week is that I am traveling to three different cities in four days. I'm not traveling with this because it's too heavy like even though I'm driving just like putting this in a bag and like carrying it it just no not happening. Oh although actually Ryan has a copy of this and I'm going to his house so I could just read his. That's an interesting thought. Today's Tuesday tomorrow I'm heading to my best friend Ryan's who you may have seen before or you may subscribe to his channel I'll link it somewhere and on Thursday we are going to Manchester to see the 1975 and then <laughs> On Friday we're coming back here to my house and then Friday night we're going to Sheffield to see the 1975 and then Saturday we're home or like I'm home Ryan will be here as well and we're having some chill time which we'll need after all that traveling and then on Sunday we're going to Leeds to see Frank Turner so I'm not sure how this week is going to play out in terms of the vlog because the 1975 are playing at Manchester Arena and I'm not sure I want to take my camera there because I'm not sure what they're letting into the arena anymore with like after the bomb last was that last year or 2016 I think it was last year which was like devastating because that's my home city but I don't know what the policy with cameras is there at the minute also when I go to the 1975 I go hard and I don't want to break my camera so there may be some dodgy phone footage coming into this vlog somewhere or I may risk it and take my camera or I may not vlog at all but that's unlikely because I, I always like to get a picture of Matty you know because I always end up right at the front against the barrier with like a great view. We'll see how that goes but I have a lot to do tonight because I need to go shower and then like 
make sure that everything's good so that when I come home from work tomorrow I can just throw a bunch of stuff in a bag and then go because it's a two and a half dro hour drive to Ryan's house. So I'm going to go get on with some stuff and check in with you at some point. We're just going to roll with it this week guys.
has been a couple of days, but as predicted, I haven't read much with all the traveling. I'm still reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I've read two chapters today, which puts me at page 83 and chapter seven, which is Mudbloods and Murmurs. So I still have a very long ways to go on this. Also, I really have to say is that I hate Gilderoy Lockhart, but I always knew I was gonna because I always have hated him. So that's how far I am in, in this. And while I've been traveling, I have been reading Game of Thrones. And in this one, I'm up to page 170. I'm not sure what I said I was up to on Tuesday. I'm really enjoying this so far. I have read, at least I've, I've read a good chunk. And I'm really excited to make this my priority book. I don't think I'm gonna finish Chamber of the Secrets by this week, because tomorrow I'm going to see Frank Turner in Leeds. But hopefully I'll finish it in the next few days. And then I can dedicate some time to this before the end of the month. Today I did film my- stop it! Today I did film my Bookopoly video for February and I have quite a hefty, hefty TBR coming into February, the shortest month of the year. So I do want to read a good chunk of this. I need to be at least halfway through this by the end of the month because otherwise this is not getting done. But it has to, so then something else isn't getting done. And I can't fail up Bookopoly, so pray for me guys pray for me. I'm not sure how I'm gonna wrap up this vlog because like I said I am a Frank tomorrow. Um so I guess I don't know. Tonight I don't think I'm gonna be doing much reading because I need to shower and edit and also play Game of Thrones so I'm not sure if this is the end guys. I'm not sure if there is gonna be another clip of me me talking after this. There might just be Frank Turner footage. So I'm gonna leave that up to editing Becca. I haven't read many books, but you know, I had a great reading week last week. Uh, so I guess you win some, you lose some. And yeah, I'll see you at some point, I guess. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is, it's now Monday, but I just wanted to add a little bit onto this just to um, give you a quick update on why you did not see any Frank Turner footage from last night. So essentially, <laughs> we went to Leeds. We got there at about 3 p.m. It's about an hour and a half drive from my home. And we did a bit of shopping. We took our time. We went and got some food. We went back to the car to drop off our shopping before we went to the gate and discovered that we had left the tickets at home. So uh, yeah, we, we just came. We just came home and we didn't see Frank Turner, which is really sad, but it happened. There was nothing we could do at that point. It was like 8 p.m. And I rang my dad and even if he would have met us like halfway or brought the tickets to us, it still would have been like too late to see the set. So that happened. We like we made the best out of it. Like we had a really good night in spite of it, but it was just a little bit annoying, you know? So I don't really have anything reading to fill you in on. I've read a few more chapters of Game of Thrones and a couple more chapters of Chamber of Secrets. And obviously I'll be starting next week's vlog as soon as I finish this clip and like do a full breakdown of where I'm up to there. Just wanted to like wrap this up properly because this vlog has been a hot mess. But I do promise that next week we are back to like normal scheduling, like quality reading content, less music and traveling all over the country. But that is it from me. Please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to. And I'll catch you next week. Bye. Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate. You say you're a go where nobody knows With guns hidden under our petticoats We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no